From hotspots to hidden gems, this is your guide to all things Maui the unscripted way. And look, the entire LAU Ohana or family is here. From majestic mountains to beautiful beaches, they say Maui magic is more than a feeling, but a state of being. And for the next half hour, we invite you to discover why the Pacific Paradise is the perfect place to go off script. Aloha everyone, I'm Dana Devon, and mahalo to Jasmine Simpkins and Olivia De Bortoli for uncovering the true spirit and soul for this special LAU. Oh, my heart belongs to Maui. I totally understand why Mark Twain so famously said, I went to Maui to stay a week and remained five. But who doesn't? And a bonus, it's just a five hour flight from SoCal. You all know I'm always up for an adventure and from incredible tropical hikes to surfing and snorkeling, sign me up. All right, well, my little coconuts, cheers to Maui. It is LAU approved. I think this is the prime time uh, for people to come and visit. Opportunities to experience so much of the island now with uh, there being fewer visitors on the island. Maui is a magical place. There's a beautiful beaches and natural waterfalls and everything. You know, what we like to call it is a Maui no ka oi, which means Maui's the best. And I truly believe, you know, Maui is one of the best places to visit. Really emphasizing our, cult, emphasizing our culture and what it is like to be a part of what the Hawaiian community does. Uh, there's special things in some ways that are emphasized even more than they used to be. Remember, Hawaii is more than even just the beautiful tourist places. It's all these wonderful people, these 1.4 million people that welcome the support and help. But we welcome everyone. There should be no hesitation. You can come to Hawaii and help us heal. Aloha kakaiaka. Welcome to Roy's. Hi, thank oh my you. Gosh, These are beautiful. Oh, thank I love you. This. Mahalo. Maui vibes and Mai Tais. Today we are toasting the 48 mile long island from Roy's Anaheim. The poke is my pick. Food really brings people together, and when you make it to Maui, you will notice the people put so much meaning behind the meals and the menu. Food definitely brings community together. <laughs> when I created my fresh treatery, it needed to tie into a sense of purpose. Maui is still the beautiful destination that it's always been. Come with an open heart, and if you go a little bit below the surface, it's the culture and the people that make the island. All right, you guys, let's practice our Hawaiian. In Hawaii, they say, oh no grinds, meaning delicious food. And vacation is ho'omaha. And aoya is there you have it. Now Governor Josh Green going off script to keep California in the know. An incredible honor to be here in LA. I'm here to thank the people of Los Angeles and California for their kindness and generosity in the aftermath of the August 8th fire of 2023. You sent us so much love and care and resources came which helped me as governor begin the healing process. So mahalo, thank you. And I'm also here to share that we want people back. We want to make sure travelers are coming back to Hawaii the way they used to be traveling. <laughs> In Hawaii, we are unique because we channel certain values through words, through language, and the spoken medium. That goes way back. So when we say the word aloha, it is not just, hey, hi. It is a sense of belonging. It's a sense of commitment to kindness. And so we are expressing mahalo, thanks to people. There's a word, ohana, which is family. I brought this for you. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, thank you. When we give lay to people, it's to demonstrate uh, commitment and trust, and it's to value 
the person that we're sharing with to honor them. You also see lays given a lot of times on special days. And this is a special day because I am welcomed by the people of Los Angeles and the station. I know you had like a special moment this weekend. Can you talk about the game ball? So we had a special moment where actually they let me give the game ball to the referees. And I mean, for a, a guy, and I try to say this humbly, that came from Pittsburgh and the East Coast and then have had this life in Hawaii with Jamie and the people of Hawaii, to be able to go to a game like that and be there and, and give the ball. So it was quite, quite a day. So, we were here uh, this week, not just to see you and to mahalo people, but also to begin the process of a, an even more robust relationship with the Rams. They raised uh, over $450,000 directly and well over a million five indirectly. They're very committed to Maui, uh, the ownership and the players. And then the Clippers, we have some personal relationships with Mr. Balmer through my family and some dear friends. We don't have professional teams in Hawaii. So when we see these extraordinary athletes like the Clippers and the Rams there playing exhibition games or doing training, we benefit. They do camps. They, they give our kids something to see that's extraordinary. The visitor industry is our most robust economic driver. We have a lot of other initiatives going on, but without tourism, we really can't survive. We lose in every way if people don't travel. And so if people would be kind enough to continue to come, we appreciate you because we love to see people and be with people. And it means that I can run a government that is caring. There's a couple ways people can travel to Maui and be helpful. Of course, just traveling and being with people and being sensitive to what they went through is great, but you are helping them heal. And then there's Maui Strong which is very good because they give monies directly to families to get housed. But mostly just coming and being present, come and be there and see our culture. A lot of how we're rebuilding is meant to give an even better experience than people had before. must search gohawaii.com for all the island info. HVCB.org also has a statewide visitor's guide. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm searching both as we try more of Roy's specific rim menu, guys. We're discovering the people, the place, Maui in this special LA Unscripted, so hula on back. Aloha Life. Welcome back to the People, the Place, Maui, a special LA Unscripted. I'm Dina Devon and Jasmine and Olivia are joining me at Roy's Anaheim while we dish all things Maui in our authentic and traditional lays that we just learned how to position them properly. We did, we did. They are so gorgeous. And you know, a lei is a symbol of affection, love, respect, and honor. It is often given when you are greeting someone special. In ancient Hawaii, wearing a lei represented wealth, royalty, and rank. I love the legacy behind a lay and just received my very first one while meeting the mayor of Maui. Aloha, I'm uh, Rick Bisson. I'm the mayor of Maui. Come visit us. On behalf of our people from the county of Maui, I wanted to present you with this lay, which signifies our bond, our friendship, and uh, our aloha to you. Thank you so much. I've never had a lei before. This is gorgeous. I'm honored. The reason people come to Maui is to learn more about our culture, learn more about our history, learn more about our traditions. They get to meet people that live the life that we live uh, in, in terms of our culture. Of course, lots of natural beauty. We also have some of the best restaurants in the world, some of the best resorts in the world, festivals, things that people can attend and, and bring back to their homes. But I think mostly what people live, leave with is that spirit of aloha. They leave with that intangible memory of what it was like to, to spend time, again, not just in the natural beauty, but around uh, the people that they come to meet as well. But what I want to talk about is the resilience of our people uh, that have dealt with so much, so unexpected, uh, but they've come a long, uh, a long way. I mean, they are, there are folks that are still grieving, uh, but mostly people are, uh, I guess the only word that comes to me is to be resilient. When I visit a place, I don't like to do the touristy things. I want to have the authentic, 
experience, the cultural experience. So what would you tell those people who are the same as me and, and want that experience? It's whale season uh, coming up, right? November through March is our whale season. So there's a lot of folks that get involved with not just sightseeing, but uh, there's a whale count that happens every year too. Uh, people can participate at our local food bank. People can part participate at our animal shelter, the Humane Society. It's something that people do uh, while they visit, you know, spend a little time there. So there's lots of things they can do in our community. You could also visit, uh, say, Lanai, which is part of Maui County, just a short boat ride away. Uh, you can take a day trip there. You can spend time going to a luau. You can spend time, as I said, going to a farmer's market. Uh, you know, we have art galleries, restaurants, uh, shops with, with local vendors uh, who make local products. Uh, that's all uh, experience that, again, there are many smaller towns that people aren't as familiar with. Uh, but you can also stay at a world-class resort. We see people as guests, as visitors, like when somebody comes to your home. Because Maui is our home. We, we live there. That's you know where we have our, our lives, raise our children. And so for people, when they come, to understand that they are coming to someone's home, come make memories, come share moments, come rediscover Maui. I just love the tradition of the Lays, and receiving one from the mayor was just so special. Oh my gosh, it takes about 30 minutes to make a Lay, and what a beautiful way to get into the Aloha spirit. I love receiving a lei. <laughs> the making of lei, the preparing the flowers, it's all part of our history and our culture. You're putting your love, your mana, your energy into it. It is a symbol of how we share our aloha with one another. Take a lei making class, go down to Chinatown and buy a lei. It just makes me feel like home. Sway, lay, and don't go away. LA Unscripted special, The People, The Place, Maui, returns in a tropical breeze. Cheers, cheers. cheers. All right, you guys, chasing waterfalls and making Maui dreams. This LA Unscripted, we are on island time, discovering the magic of Maui. Did you know because of its unique location between two mountains, Maui is also called the Valley Isle and celebrated for its stunning scenic landscape and rich cultural heritage. My grandma Edith, she had an understanding that there is an amazing amount of intellect and insight in Hawaiian knowledge. What we have today is a flourishing scene of Native Hawaiian-owned businesses. We're taking the cultural practice and we're innovating upon that. If you can connect yourself to the Hawaiian perspective, you have the opportunity to learn what it's been like to be a part of this paradise for generations. As a mom, I love taking a family vacation that creates memories with meaning that will last a lifetime. And you too. I know you guys recently went off script and you made some memories of your own at a local Aloha market. It was amazing. Yeah. Such good food, such good vibes. Aloha and welcome to Aloha Market. A one of a kind pop-up that transports you to Hawaii without ever leaving LA. <laughs> Every time you come to Hawaii, uh, there's a magical moment that you can experience. There are memories that you take with you, and that makes you want to come back. People have always said what makes Hawaii very unique as a destination is our people, is our spirit of aloha. And it's alive and well, and it's vibrant, and it's flourishing, and we are very motivated to have people come and visit our islands as our guests. Aloha Marketplace is an activation event that allows people to come in from Southern California and experience the magic and the creativity of Hawaii. Locally made products are here. Creativity is alive and well. Artisans, fashion designers, it's all the things that make Hawaii very special. Okay, so it's all about inspiring travel back to Hawaii. So there's demonstrations, there's educational sessions, giving people a little bit more than just looking at a product or an item and saying, 
You know, I like that. We'll actually tell you uh, if it's something that we could teach you uh, so that you could take it to your own homes and businesses. So it really is uh, you know, a one-stop shop, if you will. I'm a, a wildlife biologist. I created my own line of books. I did all the drawings, Hawaiian name, fun facts. So I've done 16 different books. Um, they're all just different native species. And great for visual learners. There's photos and stickers. Um, yeah, so it's a great way to inspire the next generation of scientists. Why did you want to, you know, teach the next generation of scientists about the the wildlife in Hawaii? Yeah, well, it's so important, and it's just un unfortunately Hawaii is the extinction capital of the world, so it's like out of sight, out of mind. So I felt like I could be more of a bridge between the community and nonprofits by doing this. We have access to very unique areas on the Big Island of Hawaii, where there's a particular nectar source that provides a wonderful crop for the honeybees to harvest on. And we're able to isolate these harvests from each other and it creates a single varietal, single batch, artisanal, raw honey from Hawaii. How excited are you to be here at Aloha Market? Uh, it's been pretty amazing to be a part of 30 plus different Hawaii companies here. We're all here together, all experiencing a little taste of Hawaii. Well, speaking of taste, me and Olivia want to taste sure, some of your absolutely. honey. So this flower is only found in the state of Hawaii, particularly on the Big Island. Uh, this crop we harvest in the spring and summer. It's our pride and joy. Mm. So delicate, so smooth. It's floral, it's buttery. Very buttery. And isn't that amazing? And that's honey, 100% raw, wow. unheated, unfiltered. Sadly, I would just take a spoon and just that's eat it. this. That's my favorite way. <laughs> There's something magical about Hawaii. People from Southern California have always understood and appreciated that about us, which is why they keep coming. We want to say now more than ever, we want you to come and that all of Hawaii, including Maui, is open to welcome our guests. We will keep you posted on any upcoming Aloha Market pop-ups. I am so ready to eat, beach, relax, and repeat. Who's in? Oh, me. me. But before you book your next Maui move, follow me for the best place to stay. From LA area, it's just like five hours flights away. So you hop in and you hop out and you're gonna be in paradise. Tets Yamazaki, General Manager, Sheraton Maui Resort and Spa. I'm so excited yeah. to talk to you today because I love Maui. Great. I've been probably like four or five times. Okay, gonna yes. go for the sixth time then. I do have to go for the sixth yeah. time. I've stayed at uh, Weston Kanapali, mm -hmm. so I've stayed at one of your properties, nice. and the Moana Surf Riders yes. in yes. Honolulu. Right. So I'm jazzed. Right, and I heard you're the Bon Boy member. Yes, I'm a Bon yes. Boy member, of That's course. Great. Have yep. to be a Bon Boy yes. member. Marriott has one of the most beautiful resorts in Hawaii. So besides Maui, we have resorts in Oahu, Kauai, and Hawaii Island, also known as a Big Island. On the island of Oahu, we have uh, iconic resorts. On the Waikiki Beach, which is a world-famous Waikiki Beach, we have Western Moana Surfrider, which is, is the first hotel that was opened in Hawaii, and the Pink Palace of the Pacific, which is a Royal Hawaiian Resort, which is iconic and beautiful. If you drive up to the North Shore of Oahu, you're gonna have a Ritz-Carlton Turtle Bay. Most of the hotels on Maui and Hawaii has a special going on right now. So that is 25% discount if you stay more than four nights or longer. So that essentially means if you stay four nights, you're gonna get one night free stay. My hotel, Sheraton Maui, or Western Maui, or Wailea Beach Resort, you're gonna have a great hospitality services there. We're sitting in the Kanapali Beach, which is one of the number one beach in Hawaii. We have a cliff diving ritual at nighttime, the sunset. It's just a beautiful place. There's never a better time to visit. Enjoy, relax, celebrate the island of Maui, whether you are going to do a snorkeling in the ocean and maybe spot the green sea turtles swimming by or whale season's coming up, so do the whale watching or just you know sit down watching the beautiful sunset ocean front and maybe sip some Mai Tais with your family, friends, somebody you care the most. It's gonna create the magical moment for you every time. We have a 30 miles uh, stretch of the beach 
but also you can go go up to visit uh, the top of the Haleakala mountain which is about 10,000 feet above the sea level and look at the beautiful sky and stars up on the top of the mountain and watch the sunrise from there. Or you can go visit a town like Wailuku, Makawao, Paia. There's a lot of uh, local shops, cafe, art galleries, you know, great restaurants. You're gonna you know, enjoy lots of uh, cuisine, lots of uh, food trucks as well. My recommendation is to have poke bowl, which is really popular and delicious. You're gonna enjoy that. I feel like Maui is the best. Yes. yes. Do you know how to say that in Hawaiian? I don't. Maui no ka oi. Maui no ka oi. Yes, perfect. Maui's the best, Maui no ka oi. Maui no ka oi. I'm gonna go back now being able to speak a little Hawaiian. Yes. yes. Okay, you have to teach me some more. Mahalo. Mahalo, okay, got that. The people, the place, Maui. The Valley Isle has it all. When people hear my music, I would like them to ask a question. Why do I feel this way when I hear Hawaiian music? It's the way we verbalize and continue the legacies of our place. The goal is joy. The goal is connection. Not everybody sings, but everybody can <laughs> learn the words. <laughs> Keep palm and carry on. I am Maui ready. Where are my flip flops? Really? And Maui, you are the pineapple of my eye. Roy's mahalo for letting us go off script. I love this place. And now you know why. The people, the place, Maui is the ultimate tropical paradise to go off script. Where will we be next? You never know. Cheers, you guys. Cheers. Cheers. Mwah.